Ottawa. Well, surprise, surprise. Four polls are now saying that most Americans are voting Democratic, not Republican. Four polls are saying Americans are going to vote Democratic instead of uh, America. Uh, instead of Republican, here it is. Uh, Democratic Party candidate is who I would vote for. 44%. 44% of Americans are now saying they would vote for a Democrat over a Republican during the midterms. Th this is, this doesn't mean anything, by the way. Th uh, you know, this is a poll. You know what a poll is? It's a snapshot in time. It's a picture that we're taking today. And tomorrow a storm could come and you could take the same picture and the tree that was in the middle of that picture is gone because a hurricane knocked it out. And, and life and politics are a lot like the weather. One day it looks like this and the next day it looks very, very different. So this means nothing. But I'll tell you what it does mean. It does mean that right now Republicans and Democrats both are very nervous about what can this race could turn on, Right. And, and one of the things that they're most concerned about is Donald Trump not firing up his base, because to be honest with you, I think his base is as fired up as it's going to get, and it's never got unfired. Donald Trump's base has never been unfired. They're still there. They're still loyal. That whatever that is, that number, that 32, 33, 34, maybe 35, maybe 36 percent of Trump loyalists are still loyal to Donald Trump, Right. But then there's the Democrats, most of which we know are lazy and usually don't vote in midterms because they're whatever. And, and then there's the middle, the ones who really decide elections in America, right? That Maybe that 10 to 12 percent. And what are they going to do? And I'll tell you what Republicans are concerned about right now. Republicans, you know, small r, are concerned that Donald Trump will rile up Democrats so much, it'll get them to the polls. They're already riled up about the Supreme Court decision. And that may be why we're seeing now polls that show the Democrats are winning the midterms, at least according to these four, poll, four polls, including the one that we just saw in The Economist. But now there's something else, right? There's something else. What we're looking at now is the possibility that um, Donald Trump could fire them up so now they'll be double fired up. They'll be fired up about Supreme Court, and then they'd be fired up about Donald Trump if Donald Trump does what? If Donald Trump does what? If he announces that he's going to run for president. So Republicans want to make sure he doesn't do that. So much so, <laughs> so much so, they're threatening him. They don't want him to run, uh, announce he's running before the midterms. They want to run midterm campaigns based on Joe Biden and the economy. If Donald Trump announces he's running this fall, uh, it messes with that strategy. So they're saying you do that, we'll stop paying your bills. You do that and we are going to stop paying your bills. Can you imagine the Republican Party is saying, look, and this is a former president of the United States. You do that, we'll stop paying your bills. What they're essentially saying, and I think you don't have to be a mathematician from MIT to figure this out, right? They're saying, we think Donald Trump is probably the best tool in the Democrats' tool shed. They could use him just like that to fire up their base, and if he announces, that's what will fire them up. Now, it's interesting to examine this from several sides, including this. And I'm sure you've thought this through with me as well. <laughs> Donald Trump is the kind of guy who usually wants to do what he wants to do because he has two things that drive him, right? If you don't, I mean, those of us who've watched this guy in office, whether you're a journalist like me and has to write stories about him or somebody who's just, uh, you know, somebody who takes notes of the mood of the country, if nothing else, he is two things. Two things he cares about. He cares about Donald Trump. He cares about his ego. He cares about power. He cares about his name. Th those things go into that little basket, right, that we call the ego, who, what, what he's all about. I need to be important. I need to be recognized. I need to be loved. I don't know. Psychologists said it has something to do with his father. I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. So I'm not going to do psychobabble for you. But we know that that stuff's important for him, right? So he 
announcing that he will be running for president, uh, president of the United States to him is important. It's, it's what he is. It's what he's made of. It's why he and uh, some of his friends made up these crazy stories about the fact that he did not lose the election when he did lose the election because his ego did not let him accept the fact that he lost the election, just like he can't accept anything where he's ever not won, including golf as we've talked about before in previous podcasts. But what's the other thing? See, here's, right? Here's the yin and the yang. If, if the yin is ego, the yang is money. Money. What's the other thing Donald Trump cares more about than anything else in the world? Money. So the Republican Party is playing his game. They're saying, we know you're going to announce because you love seeing yourself on camera and it's all very, very important to you. And by the way, he wouldn't be the first person who has an ego and runs for president. So it is what it is. But what they're saying is, we know how to hurt you. And we know how much money matters to you. And we know how many millions and millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars, are going to be spent on lawyers defending you all over the country because of all these lawsuits that we're having to pay for. So instead of us paying these lawsuits, you're going to be paying these lawsuits. That's where they're trying to hit him. That's where they're trying to hit him. That, as far as uh, Donald Trump is concerned, that is where the rubber meets the road. We're looking at Latino truths. And to us, that's the Latino truth. And that's what we do here. That's what we do here on the Rick Sanchez News Podcast. And we're glad you're there. Because I think together... We can get through these times and understand this and give it the perspective that I think is necessary, the Latino truth. You can check us out on Spotify. You can check us out on uh, Apple or wherever you get your podcast. And we'll be here. We'll be here delivering the, uh, this.